right, gotta do this again because I didn't realize there'd be guards right there. Oh my god. Vector clean, waiting on command. Get ready for cleanup in Xville. Something wow, that actually Jackson. worked. Brown and his guests are in danger. I, I no longer have eyes on them. Archenko's threatening to blow up hundreds of innocent people next door. Only hundreds? If Brown and his guests die, billions of augmented people will be stripped of all rights and classified as less than human. You cannot let that future occur, can you? I can do what I want. I'm gonna hack this turret. Okay. Oh my god. Ah! Run! Fall down! Fall down! Yeah! What's up? I got heal. <laughs> Why have you not come? Is your faith in hypotheticals truly that strong? Apparently not. You have made the right choice, brother. Why should so many die so loudly when a far more subtle message can be sent? To achieve my mission, I only need Brown and his guests to die. And you, of course. Now show yourself! Oh shit. Jammer, I don't want to kill him. Right here, Victor. You're done hurting people tonight. Mm. Yeah. Hurting them. Murdering them. Wearing them is the balance of victory for men like us. Oh. And I still have one death to wear. Oh my god. What are you, Mega Man? Holy shit! We're out. Uh, I won't wait all night. The only boss fight of this game. Watch for the debris. Okay, I've tried a lot of different ways of doing this. Don't you want to fight? Let's see if this works. Walk on the mine, jackass. Oh shit, don't hit me. Come on. Walk on the mine. I've been a pain in my side for far too long. Trying to stop me. Trying to stop all of this. But you do not see the futility of this endeavor. Perhaps in death, you will realize the truth. I get him? Oh my god. Yeah! Woo! Bomb threat's neutralized. Marchenko's down and he won't be getting up for a while. Great. Leave me the honors of cuffing the bastard. What about Brown and the delegates? I'm heading to the meeting room now, but chances are it's too late. I'll let you know. Jensen out. Thank the Jesus, man. Took me a while there. I, I've tried. I tried shooting him with tranquilizer darts. If you don't EMP him before he, you try meleeing him, he actually blocks it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the easy solution is the best one. Okay. Full battery. Call me the Energizer Bunny. This guy should still be down, right? Yeah, okay, good. Breach, 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 breach. Thank you. Oh my god, what? Oh, fuck. This isn't good. Oh god. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, run! That was so not stealth! Jesus! Ah! Oh, at least they don't chase you in here. Ugh. Goddamn gold masks. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Better throw down a save here, just in case something bad about to happen. Oh, open, open. Oh, hello. Pocket secretary. Am I full on? <laughs> the kill switch that will never use. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill him yet. Where are we going? Guys, oh shit, these people can go invisible. Oh my god. Okay. See, he just freaking Brandon just jumps up there. So dumb. Go, 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 go. Please let this lead upstairs. Please do not come down this way. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna use this. Where is this multi-tool thing? Fuck! That's not what I wanted! Come on! Oh. Ooh. Go, where's it go? I thought that was a bomb for a second. I was like, no. Guys are in there. Maybe they'll, they'll dissipate somehow. Seems like this guy's off by himself, so maybe I can knock him out and then go around, uh, kind of. No, they don't hear it. Shut up. Shut up! Drag your ass in the office. If I access the turret, technically is it the turret that's killing them? Or is it me that's killing them? 
Wow. Not doing that. Oof. Oh, I, I had the security key card apparently. Excellent. What the heck? Fuck. God damn it. That was a bad call. Moving it was bad. I need to get to the elevator. Now there's only one guy though. Oh wait, I can- yes! Come up! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! That pocket secretary in Hong Kong, it went live a few seconds ago, just long enough to shoot out a message. You intercepted it? Yeah, but it's cryptic. Looks like meeting in session. Proceed with delivery. Key 2202. Oh, God. <laughs> Imagine I fucked it up. 2202. Cutscene! As we consider the importance Stop of the drinking on it. a national level, on a global level, on a humanitarian level... Nobody drink. The champagne's been poisoned. But I had it replaced. It's a cuvée de prestige. You and your guests need to get out of Apex Center now, Brown. Slater's dead. Tarvos is compromised. They've come to stop you. Can you get everyone to the helipad? Yes, yes, of course. My security team will escort us. But what about the other attendees? I'm afraid there have already been casualties, Brown. But I'm going after the people who did this. Then you have a long way to climb. Turns around, she's being the face. It was me. All right, look at that. Oh, that's the game? Oh my god, really? Wow. I thought were, I was gonna face off against the Illuminati. Oh my god. Santo CEO Nathaniel Brown took to the stage today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his safe harbor convention last week. Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. We must not make rash decisions based on fear, nor should we allow a vocal minority to dictate our future. The Human Restoration Act is a perversion of all the United Nations it stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. Strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. <laughs> see if his prediction proves true. I really wanted to this face off against the Illuminati. Listening to this? We won! From Pike. Did we? <laughs> we completely disrupted their plan! Marchenko, the orchid, the bombs. They've been under too long, man. Time to come up for air. Take a breath. Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Bikers will talk around it as long as they can. 
but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. Miller, right? I'm sorry, Adam. I really did think he was working for the Illuminati. For a while, we both did. By the time I realized he was innocent. We can't change the past. We have to keep going. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? <laughs> Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. Honestly, I'm surprised you let him live. Marchenko knows things. Put him in a cell and might convince him to talk. Put him in the morgue, we get nothing. Let's hope his bosses aren't as smart as you are. Regardless, we want the men behind him. Behind the Human Restoration Act. The ones still out there in the shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderley and Page. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try, Adam, but I already told you, he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting face to face, or I find him myself. I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? This report just in. Law enforcement officials in Prague have tracked down and captured the bomb maker whose deadly explosive devices claimed the lives of dozens of innocent travelers earlier this week. The woman, an ex-army demolition specialist named Allison Stanek, appears to be a religious fanatic and leader of the tech cult group, Church of the Machine God. Police arrested her and several of her followers inside the cult's headquarters, following an extensive investigation. If you ask me, folks, that is some very good news indeed. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. We get to see all our work. Apparently, the primary cause of the doctor's death was the exceedingly high level of alcohol found in his system. <laughs> no other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Sources close to Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism ever since becoming a public figure. <laughs> Some bullshit right there. You folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. Augmented terrorist Viktor Marchenko, whom law enforcement officials describe as being instrumental in the planning and execution of devastating violence in London last week, is being moved to a secure facility for questioning. A long-standing member of the Augmented Rights Coalition, Marchenko has been very outspoken about his motives for the attack, claiming it was appropriate retribution for injustices suffered by the Augmented. I do not know about you folks, but there is only one question I really want the answer to right now. When will the United Nations pass the Human Restoration Act so that dangerous killers like Marchenko can no longer terrorize us? It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, Trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. Today, of course, we are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for ARC to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled ARC a terrorist organization. As we speak, brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding ARC-controlled compounds inside the Udalek complex. Here is an example of the defiance they are encountering. This... this is where you have it all wrong. Wrong! ARC was framed. You people, you don't see, you don't realize that Viktor Marchenko was not ARC. He was trying to kill ARC, kill the cause. But he has failed. We are strong, we are innocent, and we will not be used as pawns by rich, scared men who want to make us less than human. I am sorry, young man, but methinks thou doth protest too much. The Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague 
supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Radich Nikoladze, leader of the Diwali's Proud chapter. Sources close to the man tell me, however, that Nikoladze has gone off the grid, and it is unlikely he will ever be found. An indication of guilt, perhaps? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think. Wow, it's a long TV. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I guess that is it for my series of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Very kind of a abrupt ending. I was kind of hoping, like I said earlier, that we would actually face off against the Illuminati. But I guess that is either for the next game or DLC. But Square Enix, their credits are very long, so I'll leave you guys with the credits. And so thank you guys so much for supporting the series thus far. If you guys enjoy it, drop this last video of it. A quick thumbs up to finish it off strong. And on that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I shall see you guys next time for the walkthrough I'm doing, right? As always, happy house today. That is not the point. We should have all been informed. That is why we are here now. Volkart, what's done is done. The broad strokes of the operation were very clear and haven't changed. There are always adjustments that will occur in the field. You should know that. Adjustments? Those were not mere adjustments. Interpol was more capable than we anticipated. They have a new augmented agent by the name of... Adam Jensen. Who we believe may have had external help. Possibly by the Juggernaut uh. Collective or even Janus directly. We're looking into it, but we... All that is speculation at this point. Let's find out more and reconvene later this week. Thank you, everyone. That'll be all. It's your own fault. I'm aware of that, Doctor. Elizabeth sends her regards. Hmm. Report. Overall, the subject seems quite well adjusted despite the massive traumas he's experienced. And his memories are still consistent with the program. He is remarkably stable. Excellent. How close is he to contact with Janus? Very. It's only a matter of time. That fucking bitch. Never trusted you for a second.